welcome to this Lightarama tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss a high-level overview and the basics of the Lightarama Motion Effect Sketch, first released in version 6.2.8. The Pro License level is required to use this effect. Sketch allows you to create complex and creative effects by drawing paths, importing simple shapes, importing SVG files, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and then grouping those paths and shapes. The sketch effect supports three types of movements, dashes, chase, and morph, which can be applied separately or combined based on how you group your sketches. You can find the sketch effect by opening the motion effect generator and selecting it from the drop-down menu. We'll start with the basics of drawing a path. Paths have curved lines by default, but you can change the option using this drop-down arrow. The very bottom option, miter limit, comes into play when drawing corners. Check the Lightarama documentation for more information. Clicking on the blue line icon itself activates your pen and puts you into drawing mode. Click to add each new point of your path. No need to hold down your mouse button to draw. Once you're finished, you can either close the shape or just end your drawing to leave the start and end unconnected. You can also close the shape using Enter on your keyboard or end the path without closing by using the spacebar. We'll leave the path open for this example. To add a shape, letter, or an SVG, click the three bar icon to open the toolbar menu and select one of the top options. Shapes and letters are built in as selectable choices. SVG files must be already downloaded and stored on your computer. You can learn more about SVG files by clicking on the link in the description of this video. The options above the sketchpad allow you to make familiar changes about the size and position of your sketch. Make sure your effect is set to playback instead of pause so that you can see your changes in real time. The options below the sketchpad relate to how the sketches within a group will look and how they will act over the duration of the effect. These settings apply to all paths or shapes within a group. Be sure to create a separate group if you want to apply different settings to two paths. A sketch can be a combination of up to three colors if the color pattern is set to an option other than none. Check mark the colors you wish to use, or click on a color to select a different choice. Below the colors, you can change the width of the pen, or change the style of the path to a dash. The blur option blurs your sketch, and the line cap option near the bottom also affects the sketch's visual appearance. The chase options determine how the sketch acts over the duration of the effect. None means that your sketch won't have any motion. Selecting one of these drop-down options changes how your sketch plays over the effect duration. The chase length controls how much of the path is visible when following your chase type selection. Progress should be set to 0 to 100 by default. You can click on the linear icon to change the progress type, but setting this bar to locked will cause a standard path sketch to stand still at whatever percentage you choose. We'll set this back to the default for this video so that we have motion over time. Combine paths controls how multiple paths in a group interact. Since we've only drawn one path, changing this selection won't make the effect look any different, so we'll take a look at a different example. In this sketch, seven letters have been added to this group as separate paths. Choosing Morph with a chase type of None transitions the solid letters from A to G over the effect duration. The Append option draws the path sequentially. In this example, 1, 2, and 3 are drawn as one continuous line even though they are different paths within the same group. To add multiple paths per group to experiment with your own morphs and appends like in this example, click on the group and then click the blue icon to re-enter drawing mode on your sketchpad. You can delete a path or an entire group by right-clicking and selecting delete, or go back or forward in your actions by using undo and redo in the upper right. To add to a path you've already created, select the path, Click this drop-down and choose Extend. New groups can be added by clicking on the toolbar menu, allowing you to apply different colors and settings to different groups of paths. At the bottom of this menu, you'll see even more options for formatting your paths and groups. You can find more information about all of the options within Sketch in the Lightarama help file. See the video description for a direct link. And that's all for this overview tutorial of Sketch. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.